going on YouTube? So we sitting in, in the back and we are looking in this 20 gallon loan that is slowly becoming uh, more of a hospital tank than a plant grow out tank. I uh, just because most of the plants that were in here are now over here. Sorry about the glare from the, the window there. Uh, and in the, the 90 gallon tank. So these are just what's left over. And these fish in here are the black phantom tetras. Uh, they're in here. Normally, you know, I quarantine fish sometimes. Uh, these are in here in, in, in the hospital slash quarantine slash plant grow out slash uh, snail tank, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because when I got these, these guys had ick. Um, and I bought them purposely. You know, I knew they had ick in the in the pet store. And it's, it's hard to tell. Some of them, you can, you can see it rather clearly on them. And then others, you can't. But they, they're being treated. This tank has a temperature right now of um about 90 degrees and it's it's you know a good dose of aquarium salt in there and they're they're doing fine hopefully that'll you know take care of the ick here in 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 short terms in short process um so that's what's going on with this tank you know just treat these for some ick and i got them Knowing they had it, cause it was a, you know, it was a price point that I just couldn't pass up, even with them being sick. So, you know, I just couldn't pass it up. Um, and in fact, I'm thinking about going and getting a few more um, here either today or tomorrow, cause I, I, I mean, just couldn't pass it up. But that's, I mean, that, that's that's what's going on in, in here. This is going to be my, my little quarantine tank. And then I got the Ambunas, and they are, you know, doing their thing. Doing their thing, you know. Sorry, I have to apologize for all the different glares we got going on in here. It's an actually sunny day here in Houston, and my fish room has a door with a window, and so you see glare all over the place from from that. So I apologize for that, but everybody is doing well, doing well. You know, we gonna probably look in depth into this tank here in a, a little bit later but right now we're going to talk about the the black phantoms um and this is really my first time ever keeping these guys you know i've kept all sorts of tetras in the past but this is this is my first time really keeping the black phantoms I like them from what I read because the females, and this is a female we're looking at right here. The females have red on the anal fins where the males are all all black. You know, they're silver and black. The females have the, the reddish tints to them. So that's, that's one thing. They are um, a peaceful fish, although... You know, they, they are a shoaling fish, not necessarily a schooling fish, um, which is, you know, you can clearly see that here. But they're really pretty fish. You know, they, they really are a pretty fish. Either way, 
these these guys are gonna go in the ninety uh with the Congo Tetras. So that's that's really all we have going on as far as these fish go. A little, just a, a, a little hospital, you know, in a little hospital tank getting treated for some egg. Like I say, I don't actually use chemicals. I typically treat for egg uh, by raising the temperature up to really, I, I, I try to raise it up as high as the fish can handle. Um, and in fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could probably squeeze another two or three degrees out of these fish before they start to just, you know, show adverse effects. Because they, they look fine now. And I gotta say, the water temperature is about 90 degrees or so. In fact, I'm going to grab the multimeter here. And we're going to use the temperature probe on it. And we're going to see exactly what the temperature in, in here is. So let's get this turned on. My little temperature probe here. And right now it is reading 74.7. And we are in the water. And we are at 90.9, so 91. And they seem to not be showing any adverse effects to having, oof, having the water up that high. So, we think we're going we gonna to rock it like this for a couple more days. Um. Uh, that should that that should just about do away with all of the ick, and then we're gonna move them to the big tank and see how they doing there. All right, as always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will talk to you all later.